Hello and good morning. Hope you guys are all doing well. Here's a quick sped up version of my workout from this morning. Actually, I believe this was yesterday morning. I'm not going to lie. This is my leg workout from yesterday. Um, What I do is I post my workout from the day previous, the following day. Um, So you guys get the workout I did the day before, not the, the one I'm doing that morning. That way, if I'm going to be doing any double days, which I normally do, I can get the content from the morning workout and the evening workout into the video the first thing in the morning, rather than only getting you guys half of a clip or half of a workout. So here is the actually night session of my leg workout yesterday. I was not in the mood to record in the morning, so I just didn't. But the rest of this is all up to date. I hope you guys enjoy. Good morning. First day doing a vlog. Um, This is an everyday thing. I wake up, I go to the gym. After the gym, I come home. After I come home, I walk the dogs. All right, let's cross. So, um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Sorry, the stability quality isn't that great. I'm on a walk, and the pups are moving, as you see. The dog mentality, let's talk about it. Dogs get up. Every morning, they expect to do the same thing. Every afternoon, they expect to do the same thing. Every evening, they expect to do the same thing. As an owner, it is your job to feed that dog, water that dog, and walk that dog on a regular basis. Otherwise, the dog starts to get angry, and they don't listen as well. (sighs) Habits are what make a dog a dog. My dogs learn I'm in control of the walk. They don't get to just drag me. They want to though. They want to move faster than I'm letting them. I'm restricting their potential. Most people have that dog in them, but they walk in with a leash. They got somebody holding a leash, listening to them, listening to how they should be moving somebody else telling them how they should be operating through their day, through their life, spending their time. But in reality, humans, we're not meant to be like dogs. We feed ourselves. We think for ourselves. We plan our own day. Our day can change due due to the course of other humans' actions. It's what you do when those actions come about and how far you let them throw you off course. This morning, I did not want to wake up, but my alarm goes off at 3.52, 3.55, and 4 a.m. By 4 a.m., I better be out of bed. So today, didn't even hear my first two alarms. Woke up right at my 4 a.m. alarm got out of bed, made my bed, walked to the bathroom, contemplating going back to bed while I was peeing. And that's just reality. But I knew that my dogs were expecting to walk at six o'clock when I got back from the gym. So if I wasn't back by six, they were gonna be acting different. If I didn't end up leaving the house till six, they were going to be real upset with me come around 7, 38 o'clock when I did take them on a walk. I didn't throw off their pattern because I didn't throw off mine. They're used to it. Some days you really just do want to stay in bed, though. It's easier to stay in bed. It's easier to do the easy things. But easy doesn't get you where you want to be. If it was easy, it wouldn't be worth it. We all know that. 
but most people, like I said, are walking with a leash. Somebody directing them to the safe route, not the easy route necessarily. They go on the safe route. The safe route leads them to unhappiness because they aren't fulfilled doing a job, spending a third of their week, a third of their time, a third of their life working to make somebody else's dream become a reality. Those same people wake up 30 minutes to an hour before their job. Why do they do that? Because they have no drive, no ambition to go to that place where they are working. Because it's not really benefiting them. The only reason they're going to work is because they've got their, themselves bills. We all have bills. It's what bills you decide to have and what bills you, de you decide not to have. We get paid for value and not time. I've learned that. I was always expecting to get paid for my time. You don't get paid when you bring when you have time. Some people make a million dollars for a one hour flight and, and meeting. Did they get paid for the million dollars or did they get paid for the value? That's right, they got paid for their value. Because they're not making a million dollars an hour otherwise like Jim Rohn says, you could just stay at home and somebody would bring you your check. You get paid for the value you bring to the marketplace. And the marketplace determines the worth of your value. And whether or not you get paid minimum wage or you make a $100,000 salary. But regardless, it's all about the value. So as a dog, their values obviously differ from humans. But when you have the dog mentality as a human, you understand that with your time, you are to work, but you're only getting paid for value. So if the value you bring in the time that you're working is useless, they're not going to pay you. And whoever they is my personal goal is to work for myself why because it allows me to work on my own schedule have my own time not have to answer to anybody else some people don't like that some people would rather a safe route and have to work for somebody else that is completely fine but the purpose of working for somebody else is not to make their dreams become bigger and more of a reality the purpose is to fuel your needs to make your dreams fulfill you but most people don't do that they work harder on their job than they do on themselves one more from Jim Rohn he says work harder on yourself than you do on your job because if you work hard on your job you'll make a living if you work hard on yourself to make a fortune most people want fast money most people expect to be millionaires by 25 at 21 at 22 I was talking about how I want to be a millionaire by 25 little do people know that the top 1% starting income of the US top 1% earners make $400,000 a year so why do I need a million I don't know. Now it's just a goal. Why do I want to be in the top 1%? Because the top 1% live freely. The top 1% make their own decisions. The top 1% don't answer to anybody. Not that they're better than anyone. They just worked for what they got. They deserve what they have. Just like the people that work for somebody else and don't have what they want. Well, you deserve that too, myself included. The purpose of these vlogs are not gonna be to make it sound like I'm doing better than anybody else, or I know the right or correct route or path or the way people should be living life. This is just an aspect of how I live my life. This is the way I use words and motivation to keep me inspired and motivated because motivation comes and goes everybody knows that 
you can love what you do, but the motivation to get up and do it every day might not be there. You're in the way. Thank you. The motivation might not be there, but the passion you have for something, the drive, that doesn't go anywhere. So as long as you've got passion for something, it makes it pretty easy. The reason I got up at 4 a.m. this morning is because I got passion for what I do. I love working out. I've got a, a goal of being the number one bodybuilder in the world, not just being a pro. It's one thing to want to be pro. That's awesome. When I get there, I'll be very satisfied. But I heard a quote. Once you turn pro, that could be the last show you win. That's a scary thought. A lot of bodybuilders don't think about that. They're just worried about becoming pro. I want to be the best in the world. The best in the world is 1%. So what do we do? We do what the 1% do. We wake up at 4 a.m. Before anybody's up, before the sun's up, we get our work done. And by the time people are even getting out of bed, you already have four hours on them. All right, so to start the morning, we had some oatmeal. Did two packets of oatmeal. Do that in a bowl. Got to, got to get a little bit of water in it. You know the oatmeal packages are actually meant to measure out the water? I just learned that recently. Been utilizing that. Never mess up. And then we throw the oatmeal in the microwave real quick. And while we're doing that, get that protein shake going. This is basically my every morning breakfast. Two packets of oatmeal and two scoops of isolate protein. I'm using the EVL chocolate peanut butter, 100% isolate protein. Love it. Um, just finished my cookies and cream, and I'm actually already just about out of the chocolate peanut butter, so it is time to re-up. Um, I know that they're having a special on that, 25% off, so I'm going I'm to take advantage of that. Order some of those this week, uh, probably a couple, for, a couple of each flavor, so that way we're stocked up. Run over, grab a spoon real fast, mix up this oatmeal, and tried to get it on camera without spilling it, but that shit was hot, hot, so that didn't work. And then after we finish breakfast, we sit down, plan out the day, plan out the marketing strategies. The marketing strategy is just to make sure that I am actually getting as much out of my marketing each day as possible, meaning I'm posting on each and every platform um, multiple times so that way we're getting as much exposure and as many pieces of content out there that is really the goal of the content creation daily hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching